I'm Elena Shaw, founder and director of Trinity Book Productions, and we just finished our three-day retreat with our team from around the country who were here to deepen into their own evolution and how can they be even more powerful as facilitators in terms of bringing consciousness to others as they move into more consciousness of their own. So it was a very beautiful weekend and uh, very inspiring to be with these amazing human beings who came this weekend. So yeah, it reminded me of just how much there still is to learn always about love. It's just like, it seems like we're here on the earth to just learn more and more and more and more about love. And one of the practices that I love that has been really great for me in terms of turning towards my body is to start each week with a mantra for the week, something that reminds me so that I don't forget. I don't forget to let my body flow. I don't forget to let my, to appreciate myself. I don't forget to um, take care of my physical being, whatever, whatever I'm reaching for. And so, this morning, I thought it would be fun to do that together. So this is how I get my mantra. So let's do it together. So we begin by putting our hands on our heart and taking three deep breaths. Just in for five and pause and out for five. And then while you're there, quietly, softly in your sweet body, just let your heart fill with everything you're grateful for. So all your energy is going to flow into your heart. Breathe in through your heart. Breathe out through your heart. And let, as you're breathing in, all the things that you feel grateful for in your life pour in little things, big things, letting them flow into your whole energy field right from your heart. And then while you're there in your heart, think about who you love. It might be an animal, a friend, a spouse, a child. It might be the earth and the trees and the waters and the birds and how those beautiful plants and animals and the mother earth loves us back and who else loves you and just let your whole being fill with love and gratitude so your heart is just widening and opening i like to think of it as as wide as the sky and while you're there ask your heart what kind of wisdom, guidance would it like to give to you for this week ahead? You stay very breathing in the heart and let something just flow up. Whatever the heart has to say. It might not be words. It might be an energy. It might be a feeling. It might even be a color. It might be a sound. For me, it tends to come in words. Yeah, just staying there quietly. See what comes. And maybe there's even more than one thing that comes for some of you.
And then just take a nice deep breath and blink your eyes open, coming back into your space and say that mantra out loud several times. So for me, it's I will make space for rest this week. It's been a very busy time for me and that just rolled right up. I will make time for rest this week. Very practical and simple. Sometimes it's much grander, yeah? And I can say that I will make time for rest this week, or I will make time for rest this week, or I will make time for rest this week. And it's fun to play with saying it different ways as you walk around the room and move it in your body and just get it, get it in there, get it integrated, make it yours for the week. I will make time for rest this week. Yeah, whatever yours is. So just take a moment before we close and do that. Walk around, say it in your chair, wiggle it, put your feet on the ground, feel your feet and say it (sighs) over and over. So it becomes your mantra for this week as you walk through your days. Yeah. I love the wisdom of the heart. Yes, yes, yes to the wisdom of the heart. (sighs) Ah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And thank you to those who are listening in after. And I'll see you next Monday. Take good care in the week ahead.